Good evening, class. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. A little tired, but fine. Really, you're tired? Why, what happened? Too much work <laughs> today. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, so it was a tough day today. Yeah, but it's the middle of the week. So it's a yeah. good news. <laughs> yeah, good news. You're right. There's only two more days left right of the week, and then you rest. So, you know, it'll be over soon. Don't worry. Yeah. How about the others? How was your day today? Taking calls. So, you've been taking calls? Yes, I'm working. Oh. Um, yes. So, oh. You're working. A, you're working in this moment. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm in a call actually. So give me one minute, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, what about the rest of you guys? How How was your day today? Guys, and then includes girls too. Thanks. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day, Andres? It was good, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Good. Thanks. What about you, Jose? Um, you were going to say something? No. My day is so relaxing today. I just work for four hours. Oh, that's nice. Today. Only four yes. hours? Wow. Five, uh, four, four. Four hours, and um, do you normally work four hours or just today? Just today. Oh, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Yes. Okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. If there is not too, mu uh, too much uh, calls. Too many calls? Uh, uh -huh, too many calls. Uh, we can ask for voluntary time off. Oh. Uh, yes, and they give up the time oh. but no pay it no pay oh okay an, an unplayed time yeah okay but mm -hmm. you know it's it's good to rest once in a while yes yeah that's good i'm glad to hear that okay good well i'm glad to see everybody and um i'm glad that everybody's um doing quite well um let me take attendance Let's see who's here um so is anna claudia here Good evening, teacher. Good evening. No, Anna Claudia's not here? Oh, that's weird. Okay. All right. What about Javid? Is Javid here? I'm here. Okay. Welcome, Javid. Thank you. Is Andres Giovanni here? Yes, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Welcome, Andres. And uh, Dennis, Dennis Orlando? No? Okay. All right. Edgar, Edgar Alfredo? Edgar, Alfredo, sorry, Ben I always forget the last name. <laughs> no, not here? Okay. All right. Eh, Edith Jorleni? Edith Jorleni? No? Okay. All right. Irvin? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Mervyn. Thank you. And Fabiola? No. Heidi? Heidi? No, not here. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Irene. Thank you. Uh, host, no, no, Ivan, sorry, Ivan. No, Ivan's not here. Okay. Um, Josue. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Josue. Thank you. And Juan Francisco is here. That's a teacher, I'm here. Okay. 
Welcome, Juan Francisco. A jury, is jury here? Present teacher. Okay, welcome jury. Thank you. A, and uh, Luis, is Luis here? Present teacher. Okay. Um, welcome Luis. And Manuel Alejandro? Is Manuel Alejandro here? No? Okay. Uh, what about Natalia? Present teacher. Okay. All right. Welcome, Natalia. And Wendy? Wendy? No? Wendy's not here? Okay. Um, what about Warner? Is Warner here? No? Okay. What about uh, Yvonne? Present. Okay, welcome Yvonne. Thank you. Edgar Enriquez? I'm here. All right. Uh, Elizabeth, Ellie? Is Ellie here? No? Okay. Uh, what about uh, Jose, Jose Montes? Present. All right, welcome, Jose. Thank you. And Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to repeat um, the making sure that I have, that I have not missed anybody. The people that I didn't hear are um, Ana Claudia. Here teacher, good evening. I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> wow, I was wondering what had happened to you. Yes, the internet. <laughs> But now I'm here. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, good. Uh, Dennis Orlando, Edgar Menjivar, Edith, Jorleni, uh, Fabiola, Heidi, Ivan, eh, Manuel Alejandro, Wendy, and War Warner, and Ellie. Okay, those are the people that I didn't hear. Okay, so I guess that's it. All right, guys. Well, um, okay, now that I've taken that attendance, um, first of all, thank you guys for connecting on time. And what we're going to do today, uh, we're going to start by <clears throat> our presentation. Please tell me when you can see my presentation, my PowerPoint presentation. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, so this is the intermediate module one, unit two procedures. Okay, so that's what we're looking at today. So the date is Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. And the day is number seven. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so we're going to begin, first of all, um, with a, a a review of the vocabulary. This is something that we saw yesterday. Um, I got you guys to work on it yesterday, but we didn't have the opportunity to check it. So um, remember this, use the dictionary and look for the meaning of the words below. So we had handle, confirm, payment, greeting, and notify. Do you remember this? Yes? Okay. Yes. yes. So what I'm going to do right now is I, I'm sure everybody already did it with your partner. So what I'm going to get you to do is you're going to compare with another partner and see if you have the same ideas. Okay. Or may, maybe your partner has found other information or um, you have something more to, to add to your partner's definition, whatever. Right. Okay. So I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs and compare. Okay, so here we go. Um, so we're gonna make breakout rooms. Uh, you're gonna all be working in um, in pairs. Okay, that's the idea to work in pairs. Um, 
I guess I don't have Warner here, right? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give you um, about seven minutes, I think will be enough for you guys to discuss these book, these, um, these um, definitions, because I'm sure that you're, you're going to have some differences and you're going to have to discuss them. So um, I'm going to give you about seven minutes. Okay, so let's open the rooms. Here you go. Uh, Wendy, are you having problems to connect? Wendy, are you having problems connecting? Wendy, any problems connecting? Okay, I'm gonna go and help the other groups. Okay. Hi guys. Um, sorry, hi, Jessica. I'm sorry, Josue. I had to move you. Yeah. I... <laughs> you uh, you are miraculously ap uh, appeared somewhere else, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. It's just that. Um, the person that was assigned in this group, I don't know what she's having problems with, I guess her connection and she hasn't been able to connect. So that's why I sent you over here, but you guys can go ahead and work together. Okay. Okay. All right, great. Well, from Francisco, they had uh, the meeting of the five words. The handle I is Yes, again, uh, again, hi teacher, we, we finish, we have, we compare our different, different definition about the, the, the words, for example, in my case, for me, handle means manipulate product with hands. Okay. Were they the same, the same answers or different? Different, diff the, the same idea, but different words. Okay, so let's discuss them. Why are they different? You know, so you have a few minutes left to discuss that. What's the, you know, what is the difference? Why you have one answer and he has another answer. Okay? Yes. Go for it. Thanks distorsionado al final voy a cambiar de audífono well, ay ay acabo de terminar de trabajar ya 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 regreso <laughs> que tengo que cambiar los audífonos y traer la la cosa go ahead no problem si soy de comprometido ven <laughs> hello natalia mm. hello how are you uh, fun, but very tired, right? And this day was a long day, but very, very satisfactory. <laughs> it was tired, but satisfactory. Why? Tell me about it. Uh, many problems was solved. <laughs> and I have, uh, well, for my work is very uh, attend to many people. 
at the same time because I the um, like a, uh, I like the bus of the recovery uh, of the mortgage and pims mm -hmm. and I like a a leader of the team and we well the the area is a collection team. Mm -hmm. And I recovery mortgage and PMS and and the co bueno collection legal collection too. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I see. That's good. Okay, all right. Well, go ahead and work with your partner. You only have okay. a minute, so go ahead and. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Edgar. Well, Alfredo. But the first word. Alfredo. Alfredo is. You're right. <laughs> the, uh, that's okay. That's, modify. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Modify. I modify you. The teacher is here now. Yes. Okay. Welcome, teacher. Thank you, Ivan. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, Ivan, are you having problems with the camera? Sorry. Oh. Okay. All right, you just disappear once in a while. <laughs> okay, good. Um, are you guys finished? Yeah, teacher, we finished. Yes. You finished. Okay, good, good. Okay. Yes, teacher. Um, so um, we're going to see each other in the main room in a moment, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Come on here. I'm going to rename my profile. Hello, Irvin. Uh, what happened? Were you not assigned? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hi. I had a problem with the internet. I oh, had a problem. okay. Sorry, sorry. I had a problem with the internet. No problem. Sorry. No worries. Okay. Okay. I'm here. I'm here now. Okay. okay. Good. Wendy, how about you? Are you there? Wendy, are you there? No? Wendy, I'm not sure because uh, I saw that you were having problems um, before connecting, but I'm not sure. Now I see that you are connected, but I don't know if you're having problems. Oh, okay. You don't have you don't have internet. So you are you are navigating with the data. Oh, okay. 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 Got it. Okay. Um, teacher, well, teacher. Sorry. Good evening. Oh, uh, I, I don't. I don't have uh, internet. Uh -huh. And. Uh, I have only that, and my 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 camera is uh no it me consume mucho datos la cámara teacher uh -huh. um, la puedo encender por ratitos para para la lista posiblemente la cosa es que me va a dejar sin sin datos desde ayer no tengo datos bueno no tengo internet desde ayer you don't have any internet connection no teacher sorry but I I hear Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, I do appreciate that you're connected. I really appreciate that. Um, yes, I definitely am going to need you to turn on your camera. And uh, when you when we pass the attendance, um, and I, um, and I definitely need you to be participating, right? So um, try to, so um, that you, we can see that you are there, you know, that you're actually you know, so and, and if you can turn on the camera once in a while, because yeah, it's just because the unfortunate Sephorp is it needs to audit and he they need to make sure that you are receiving the class, right? So yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I, I really am. There are so many things that happen, you know, with the internet. The internet can be our best friend for certain things, but then sometimes, you know, if it doesn't work like we want it to, it can be the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Yeah, okay. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and um, discuss with the class the different concepts that we have here. Okay, 
So, um, and the first handle confirm. Sorry. Oh, okay, no problem. It is the handle confirm payment. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah, I'm going to share right now with you guys. Yeah. What we have. yeah. Okay. So these are the words that I have. The first word is handle. Handle. Okay. Okay, what, what could you say about handle? What is the meaning of handle? And I'm, I think I'm gonna ask individual people. Um, so let's go for, let's see, um, Andres, help us out with the word handle. I have a part that is designed especially to be prospered by the hand. Sorry, could you repeat that again? A uh, part that is designing, designed especially to be grasped by the hand. To be grasped by the what? By the hand. By the hand. Ah. By the hand. Got it. All right. Um, I understand what you're what you're referring to. Yes, you're right, Andres. Now, in that definition of handle is describing the noun, okay? The noun. Um, so yes, uh, for example, if you, are, if you have a cabinet, right? You grab it by the handle or a door. The door, is, there's a handle to the door. It's the part that is meant to put your hand on it and be able to, to grab it, right? Okay, that's the handle. In Spanish, how would... How would you say that? Manija. Manija. Sorry? Manija. 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 Uh -huh. okay. Excellent. Does anybody have another definition of handle? I have mm -hmm. uh, to deal with, have responsibility of for or be in charge of. Mm -hmm. Good. Manage a situation or problem too. That is what we found. Yes. Okay, good, excellent. See, in that case, the definition of handle, you're, you're defining it as a verb, okay? So Andres was defining it as a noun and it's correct, but we can also define it as a verb. And in this case, handle, what it means is, yeah, you can, um, to, manipulate to, what was the other words that you had there? What are the verbs? To deal with, have responsibility for, or be, be in charge of. Good, okay. So have the responsibility for, deal with, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? Also is, so handle is like, for example, how do you handle this problem? Teacher. How do you manage the problem? Yes. Teacher, I have feel or manipulate with the hands. Exactly. And that is another verb. Another verb uh, for handle can also be to manipulate. Uh, for example, um, you need, like in the case of, res of restaurants, um, how do they handle food? How do they handle food means how do they manipulate the food? You know, do they touch it with um, their bare hands? Do they have gloves? Um, do they wash their hands, right? That the way they manipulate, that's also the word handle. Does that make sense? Yeah? So we've seen here that there are more than one possibility for these answers, right? And they're all correct, right? It all depends on if you, what you are, um, you are describing if it's a noun or it's a verb or, if um, you know if the verb is talking about one thing or about another thing, okay. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Confirm. Um, how about if um, Ivan? Ivan, can you help us with this one? Confirm. Sorry. It's okay. 
um, confirm, confirm is like um, establish, establish the true or, or correctness of, about something. Um, in my opinion, also could be a, a sh uh, sure something like an event or, or something we do it. Okay, okay, good. All right. I find out another mean, meaning. Okay, go for it. Uh -huh, tell me. A, a confirm is uh, to make an arrangement or meeting certain offered by phone or wiring. Yep, very good, yeah. So maybe you confirm like a, a you know, um, maybe they send you an invitation and you can confirm if you are going or not. Mm -hmm. Yes, for example, fly, flight should be confirmed 48 hours before departure. Right. Very good. Exactly. Um, so confirm means to say, yes, I'm, um, it's, I'm going, you know, it's, it's going to happen, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Anything else? Okay, also remember in English, just like in Spanish, uh, we can also use the verbs to mean different things. Um, although it's probably not gonna be used in the context that we're gonna be using it, but it's also good to know, right? Uh, we can also use confirm in a religious sense as well, right? Um, so to have like a confirmation, right? Like, a, you know, be baptized and confirmed, Right? Okay, so you can also use it in that context as well. Okay, all right. Any questions? Okay. So far? No? Okay, all right, let's go on to the next part. Payment. Uh, excuse me. Um, Hold on, just give me a second. All right, um, how about if um, Javit helps us with the word payment? Okay, um, an amount of money paid or the act of paying. Um, Okay, the act of paying something, or what else did you say? An amount, A-M-O-U-N-T. Sorry? Amount. Amount, amount, thank you, amount. An amount of money paid. Okay, very good, uh-huh, very good. So an amount of money paid. Um, for example, when you, um, Let's say you are going to uh, ask the bank for a loan, okay? Um, and you have to make payments, right? Every month you make payments. So mm -hmm. uh, you can make a payment, that, you know, maybe um, you have to pay, I don't know, $60 every month, right? For right. example, the rent or oh. the gas, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. All right. Good. Anything else? Any other ideas? No? Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next one, number four. Um, greetings, uh, maybe. How about if... Juan Francisco, can you help us, Juan Francisco? Uh, the 
action or words of uh, a person who greets. Sorry, could you repeat that again? Okay. Uh, the act or work of a person who breathes. Uh, no se pronuncia. Yeah, great. Great, great. Uh, good, okay. Okay, very good. And anybody else have another idea, another definition? Uh, some to something friendly or polite that you say or do when you meet or welcome someone. Good, okay. Mm -hmm. Right, um, so a greeting is uh, when you welcome somebody, you say something nice to them. Um, can you give me examples of greetings? Welcome, good morning. Good. Welcome, good morning, Wells. Hello. 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 Hi. Have a seat. Have Maybe, a... no. Sorry? What was the last one? No, maybe not. <laughs> no sé si. Okay. The word. Anything else? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Ah. To be, um, a happy, great... happy birthday. Uh, ah. The thing about happy birthday is that you know you can't say that on the, any day of the of the week or the day or the year, right? Um, a greeting is something more that you would say um, it, to make the person know that you are. Um, make them feel welcome and, and most that is more maybe like, welcome to our restaurant have a nice night have an amazing evening i don't know um yeah mm -hmm. yeah exactly so something like um, is more like um a, some expression that you say to the person that makes them feel good um that you want them to be there I found on the definition too that it's not only a polite word, it's also a sign of welcome. So it can be like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fine. Right, yeah. Or for example, you know, in some countries, they do this. Right? Yes. And the, which is also called the namaste, right? Um, and that that would be a sign of that's also a greeting right so you don't have to say anything but the person knows that you are happy that they're there and and they feel good they feel welcomed mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah e even a greeting might be um you know shaking hands yeah you know put it out of your hands and say hi to someone that that could also be a greeting yeah absolutely mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> okay, let's move on. And the, this is the last one, notify. Um, let me see, how about, um, <clears throat> how about Josue helps us with notify? Uh, notify is uh, to inform of something typically in a formal or official manner. Very good, yeah. <clears throat> good, excellent. Um, any others? Any other ideas or uh, definitions for this one? Give the news. Give the news. Sorry? Give the news. news. To give a news. Okay, sure. Yes. Yes. Sure, to give news. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. To tell someone officially about something. For example, the school is required to notify parents if their children fail to come to the school. Okay, yeah, notify, yes. Okay, very good, excellent. All right, any questions about this vocabulary? No, teacher. No? 
Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. So since we have this information, um, I also asked you guys yesterday to talk about this. Which of the following are the most common issues with services you have experienced in a restaurant? Do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? And why? So remember that this is something that I asked you guys to do to check the ones that for you have been a problem. Okay, so let's do that. Um, let's go back to your groups and share. Have, have these been a problem? And if they have, tell, tell your partner about the problem. Don't just say, yes, this has been a problem for me. Um, explain what, you know, give examples of, you know, moments that this has been a problem. Um, you know, tell the story, what's, what's happened in that moment, okay? And I'm gonna give you guys that, you know, enough chance to talk. So I'm gonna give you, this time I'm going to give you 10 minutes, all right? To be able to share your answers and your experiences. Sounds good? Did you? <clears throat> yeah? Yes, you had a question. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, oh, okay. that's okay. Okay, okay. Um, in that case, <clears throat> let's um, let's just let's see. Oh, I think there. Um, uh, Habit. Mandy. Uh, who were you with? Who was your partner, Habit? Today, Erin. Who? Okay. Irvin. Erwin, Erwin, yeah. 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 Oh, okay, okay. I see what happened. Mm -hmm. Um, hay alguien que no, um, que hay alguien que no haya yo asignado en el curso, o sea, en, perdón, en el, en, en la actividad pasada, alguien que no haya participado. Mi teacher. Who's me? Wendy, sorry. Okay, it's okay, no problem. All right. Uh, other than Wendy, anybody else? Uh, me, teacher. Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I am going to open up the groups right now. Uh, Luis, are you having any problems? Luis? Hi, teacher. I am alone. Uh, who were you with before? Edgar Alfredo. Which one? Oh, in, in the, maybe the word in call center. Okay. I don't know the last name. Uh -huh. But it's, 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 it's the younger. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna send you over where he is, okay? Okay. Nos acto. That it means, yes. It doesn't, it doesn't happen to me. Uh -huh. This, this, 
Next, yes, the food takes too long to be served after ordering. Sometimes, yes. sometimes it's a common issue in different pupuserias and pizzerias, yes. in pizzerias they, too. Yes, they take yes. a long time. And what do you think it is, uh, how could you change uh, that? Mm. Okay, first, I think the managers have, should do um, medicines for times about every employee. Measure uh, I mean, measurements. Measurements. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Measurements about every employee. Uh, because in this in this way they it can can be more efficient efficient or get get more capacity for production production and I think that is yeah it can be a solution. I think the same because uh, for me there it could be uh, a, from the manager and get more personal personal in order to serve the food quickly. Yes, it's true. Yes, more person, uh, more uh, employees uh, could reduce this uh, this problem. And also I had some issues when I went to a restaurant and when the waiter uh, was not polite. Yes, yes, I, it, it happened to me sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes the waiter are not polite and they not have patience patient for your for your order and then I think the the restaurant should be should should have a trainer trainer for for every employee about customer service. Yes. It would and, be a yes it would be a, it would be a good idea to that the work personnel, pers uh, the other employees uh, have to be trained uh, for a good customer experience. Yes, and some restaurants should, should have more benefits for every for the employees because some of them are not they are not feel well working in these places because the schedule are so hard and they are so tired working in this restaurant and maybe hi guys what happened oh no, sorry <laughs> Nothing. I think I, uh, I, I lose Luis for a, a short time. For a, for a short time. Mm -hmm. I think I am having trouble with the internet. Because oh. the, the, the Zoom uh, closed and reopened by itself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. But I'm here. But we, we was talking about the, the number four and the number five are the most common issues uh, in the restaurant. Okay, and we were, we yeah. was or we were? We was talking, <laughs> we were talking. Uh, were, Good. we were talking. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, in we, uh, are, we were agree about the procedures help to reduce these issues 
and we come and to the restaurant have to um monthly trainee uh, uh, to, the, to the them staff to people uh, to avoid these issues in the in the restaurant if the customer feel comfortable always and so and then we go <laughs> Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, Luigi, tell tell us about your experience. Okay, I was telling to the to Iba. In my case, the most common issue is with the no, the last one. The, the dish um, is different than the waiters bring to the table. And I was talking to the, to here. Um, uh, maybe the procedures uh, could be the restaurant um, actualize the the picture in the menu uh, because sometimes uh, they change some ingredients or uh, something in the dish but the menu is the the picture in the menu is the same that's why the when you order that dish is different when you get it Right, that 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 can be a big problem, right? It's, yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay, uh, when so I go ahead and, and talk about when this has happened to you. Okay, I'm gonna go in and visit the other groups. Okay, don't go, please. <laughs> please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go, girl. Can you stay? Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, in in our school, um, we training. We no, they training us for customer service. For the, we work with parents and kids, and in and we work um, with both with uh, two important things: money and they care kids. And it's very important to bring a great customer service about the the uh, how you talk or, or say something to the parents for explain uh, some situation about the kids or or the money they don't pay or uh, something. It's very important to to bring a great customer service. Yeah. And now they are they are they are class. They are class at that moment. Yes, virtual and present. Yeah. But uh, one week is virtual. For example, uh, this week is is virtual, and the next one, uh, the kids uh, arrive the school, llegan yeah. al colegio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do Presencial. You... I have. Seven kids in virtual twenty one. Twenty one. Yes. What four years or four years old. The last year uh, I teach in maternal. Three maternal. years old. Yes. Wow. Virtual. Like wow. My respect habit. My respect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It was difficult because it was a great change for all the teachers and for the kids too. My respects because I I was teaching um 10, 11, and 12 year olds online. And <laughs> that was so difficult. And I cannot oh, yeah. imagine what it would be like to be teaching four-year-olds on the four on years. Let me four years. Wow. That's wow. That's that's yes. They open uh, their microphones and say anything. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's great. It's 
it's a new way to teach and learn. Yeah. How do you say nos adaptamos a estos cambios? Adapt, to adapt. Adapt, adapt to, the, to, to the, adapt for the, the change. To the technology yeah. and, yes. the, and the, how, the generation. The, how, how pronounce generation, okay? Teacher, how pronounce generation? Generation. Uh, Generation, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. generation, yeah. The new generation is so different. Yeah, it's so different, the new generation. And the kids are so different too. And they want to high performance for to teach class. Yeah, so difficult. Yeah. But if you love that you study, you feel free, okay? Free, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like it, okay? I don't like it. And you teacher? Um, you, you mean teaching online? Are we talking about teaching online or what? See, do you like it? Uh, 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 teach uh, the kids? Oh, kids. Yes. Um, <clears throat> well, it depends. It depends the age and the size of the class. Um, you know, if it's a small class, I don't mind. I don't mind at all, a small class. Um, but when it's a, a big class and I, I just, I, it's, it's not my thing because I, I feel like <laughs> I lose control of the, of the, of the children. I, you know, and there are, too, there are too many of them, I lose control. So yeah, I, I, prefer, I prefer to have teenagers or adults. Okay, adults. I don't adults. like teenagers because they are sometimes are so irrespectful or so too mean for the with the others and many bullying and yeah. control many bullying. Is very, very many bullying bullying's i don't know is yeah the correct yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think you need to be able to connect with the like in order to be able to get to them you have to connect with the, the with the um the teenager you have to see where they're coming from um i feel for on my at least from my side i've always uh felt that i can connect with the teenagers um i i can i feel that i can get to them a little bit more than i can with 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 uh, children but you know that's every i, I think each teacher has their own like um you know mm -hmm. it, they have their own um, strength, right? And I, I think you know, each one has something that that helps them out, and and you know they can they they know how to manage it, you know. Because for example, I know, so I, I know some coworkers that um, they said they've told me in the past, no, I I I don't want to work with adults. For example, they don't like to work with adults. I don't know why, but but they they don't they like to work with children, you know. So mm -hmm. I think everybody has their own thing, you know. So I work personally. I work very well with teenagers and adults, um, and children only if it's a small group. Big group, no. <laughs> if you create, if you can bring uh, advice for working or for teach adults, what what is your advice to teach for adults? Teach Adults, uh -huh. adults. Uh, to teach adults, I think teaching adults, um, it's about um, definitely uh, getting into. Well, I think I think adults sometimes like to go back to being children. <laughs> so, yeah, which is really funny because, for example, with. Um, you know, with teenagers, if you get to them to um, to do a do a game, for example, they say, "No, I'm too old for a game." Mm -hmm. But adults are the opposite; they love mm -hmm. it. They love mm -hmm. it if they're for children. So you know, it, it, you kind of have to work around that. So it, sometimes um, adults like to go back to being children and just having fun. You know, and I think it's one of the things is because you know as adults we have so many responsibilities um and so it's nice to just kind of you know forget about being an adult for a moment and just mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so that thanks mm -hmm. but to be a teacher is a vocation it's a yeah. vocation. Mm -hmm. I agree. 
I absolutely agree. It's just like being a doctor or a nurse or mm -hmm. um, if, if you are, if you don't have that calling, don't don't do it. You know, mm -hmm. it's a teacher, horrible. Teacher, do, you, do you like to be a teacher? I do. I yes, do. I know. I can see you. You <laughs> like to be a teacher. Yes. I, how do you say se nota? You uh, can tell. Como? You can tell. You can, you can tell. tell. Yes. You, you like to be a teacher. I yeah, am a teacher. I, do. I, I actually I feel this is my calling. I feel it's my calling. I do the vocation, vocation is a, a teacher. The vocation or your calling. You can say that the two oh. ways English. Your calling. It's called your calling. Tu llamado. Ah, exactly. It's tu llamado. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So I, I I definitely I, I definitely like being a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many years ago you were a teacher? How many years ago? Sixteen. How many? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Oops. Many years ago. <laughs> yeah. Many years ago. But where did you study English? I didn't. I didn't study English. English is my first language. Oh, where are you from? Uh, from Canada. Canada. You are from Canada. Wow, yeah. Yeah. you are, you feel, wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> how, is the, how is your hair? I, I came on a vacation and I liked it and I stayed. You are from Canada. Yeah. And you live here. And I live here. But so, you have Salvadorian <laughs> parents or something yeah. like that? Okay. Um, yeah, I actually, I was born in El Salvador. And oh, okay. when uh, I was two years old, my parents uh, decided to, to immigrate. Um, so I grew up in Canada. And when I was 20 years old, I decided to come to, to, um, to El Salvador to visit. Why, teacher? Teacher, why? It's so different. And it's, so, it's so different, Salvador. Very different. It is different. And I liked it and I said, I want to stay. And I stayed. That explained the Frances. El Frances. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That's life. You never know what's going to happen. But yes. do you think yes. Uh, yes. you went back to Canada? No. Why? Do you like it? No, I do like it. I just don't feel that it's my time right now to go back. I'm planning, uh, I'm, I may in the future move, but it would not be to Canada. If I move, I'm not going to be moving to Canada. I would move somewhere else. And the opportunity for the job in Canada, more, more opportunity. Yeah, well, maybe I don't know, but I, I like I didn't move to El Salvador because of a job. You know, I I I'm, I had other reasons that were for okay. me more important. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, In how about, teacher. you never In know. Life life takes you to different places. I would have never thought I was going to live in El Salvador, and here I am. So mm -hmm. you know, you interesting, know. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anyways, I'll see you guys back in the main room, okay? Okay. All right. All right, guys. I so hope that's all we can you can finish. Okay. Oh, pardon. Oh, okay. No, it's okay. I, I thought you were you were gonna tell us something. <laughs> that's okay. switching channels. One sound sound number one, sound number two. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. Something like that. Okay. Um, great. So, guys, um, I hope you guys had a, a chance, um, enough opportunity to talk about your experiences. Right. The idea here is was for you guys to talk about your own experiences in your, in the restaurants, you know, when did you have problems with this, you know, did you have enough time to talk about that? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So what we're gonna do is now the following. Uh first, oh, before anything, I'm gonna take attendance. A yeah. So do I have Anna Claudia? Present teacher. Wonderful. Javi. Present. All right, Andres. Present teacher. Okay, Dennis, Orlando. No? Okay. Edgar Menjivar. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Evit Chorleni. Irvin. Yes, present teacher. All right. Um, Fabiola. Uh, Heidi. Heidi. No? Okay. Uh, Irene. Present teacher. All right. Ivan. Present teacher. Okay, great. And Josue. Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jury. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Okay, great. Manuel Alejandro. No, okay. Uh, Natalia. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Wendy. Wendy. Present, present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Werner. Werner? No? Okay. Uh, Werner. Werner, I don't know if you saw the, the message. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for reminding me. Um, Yvonne. Present. Okay. Um, Edgar Enriquez. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Eli? Eli? Jose Montes. Present. All right. And Jose Ayala. Present. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Let's move on now. Now that I've taken attendance, um, I want to remind you guys a little bit. This is this is something that we saw before, and I just want to make sure that you guys remember this. Um, just give me a moment. Okay. Yeah. All right. So re remember this about formal suggestions and requests. We talked a little bit about the could and might, and um, to make formal suggestions and requests, right? So you guys probably remember, like this, like again, I said this is this is a review. I just want to make sure that you guys do remember. Uh, with the could, we use could. Oops, sorry. Let's try that again. We use could when we want to talk about a suggestion. Okay, and we use might when we want to be polite. Okay, so it's also for suggestion, but it's more like being extra polite. But it's remember, it's not only with might, it's also with the might like or might want. Okay, do you guys remember this? Yes. Okay, good. All right, also something that I didn't um, tell you last time, but um, I've told you in the past and I just want to remind you is that um, after we use could or might, which are model auxiliaries, okay? Um, just like the example here, we have could, could, or might, might. After the, 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 um, after the, the model auxiliary, the verb is always gonna be in the base form, okay? So in this case, you could talk, you could generate, you might want, you might like. Okay, it's always going to be after the main, the main, the sorry, the model auxiliary. We're always going to put the next verb in the in the base form. 
So all, all the time, that's 100%. That, that is like a rule for model auxiliaries. It's always 100% of the time, it's the next word is gonna be always in the base form. So uh, the want, it's always gonna be want. It's never gonna be wants. It's never gonna be wanting, or it's never gonna be to want. It's always gonna be want, simply want. Might want, not might want it. The same thing with like. It's gonna be might like, it's never gonna be might might likes or a might liking or might to like or might liked. No, nothing of that sort. Okay, got it. Yes. Got it. All right. Yes. Okay. Good. Excellent. And of course, there is that extra element over here with the might. That after that, we're gonna be using the to infinitive. But it's always gonna be after the want or the like to have or to schedule is an example. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, now um, I want to also remind you of the examples, right? Now we talked about that the examples can use other subjects like in this case, that we're using the we, but most of the time it's going to be you, right? Um, because we're talking about a suggestion. You suggest somebody, you, you sorry, you suggest something to a person directly, right? So because it's directly to that person, it's always, always going to be this, the second person. Now, this, it could either be the second person singular, like you, or it could be this, um, it could also, yeah, so it could be a sing, second, sorry, second person you, right, singular, or second person you, plural, right, like, for example, you, the class, right, or, or we can also include we as the first person plural, why, because in we, we include you, right, so if I say we, I'm, inclu I, I'm included, but I'm also including you, Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Any questions so far? No question. Everything is clear? Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, we understand that. Um, give me a second. Okay. All right. So, um, what we're going to do, we have a project that I'm, or let's say a yeah, small project that I want you guys to work on with a partner. Um, but this time I'm going to be changing your partner because I want you to work with somebody different. Okay. But first, let me explain what, what it's going to be about. <clears throat> okay. So your turn here. Work in pairs in your assigned breakout room. Choose three of the problems mentioned in exercise four, page 17. Three of them. Okay. Imagine you you two are the new managers of the restaurant. So you and your partner are the new managers, okay? And the, remember the problem is that you want to get, you know, new, you, you want to get more customers, you want to have better service. So you're going to create a conversation where you give suggestions on how to solve those three issues, okay? So in your conversation, you're gonna discuss about those three issues and what procedures you can take. And of course, you use could and might, okay? Talk about what suggestions uh, can be used, right? Using the could or using the might, okay? And then you're gonna present your conversation in front of the class. Is this pretty clear what we're gonna be doing? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, any, any questions at all? Okay. My question. Okay, so I'm going to create the new groups. 
I'm going to give you 15 minutes because, you know, this is a conversation. Okay, we're going to create the groups. Okay. All right, so here we go. We're gonna open the rooms. Noise. I connected in McDonald's. <laughs> oh, Werner, I, was, I, I just noticed you you were with us and I, I wanted to, to come and see what had happened. Oh, I'm so glad. I, you I combo for English comparativo, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Werner, for, for, um, for connecting. That's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. Well, um, enjoy your, your drink. <laughs> okay. Um, so Warner, did you did you hear my instructions? You understand what we're gonna be doing? I not see a destruction teacher. Okay. Is it? Let me share. Let me share the instructions. Um, I'm gonna share. Can you see my can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So it says work in pairs in your assigned breakout room, which you are in already. Choose three of the problems mentioned in exercise four, page 14. Sorry, page 17. Okay, so these were the, the, the problems that we talked about yesterday um, and that at the end of the class. So you're gonna choose three of those problems and you're gonna imagine that you and Ivan are the new managers of a restaurant. You're gonna create a conversation where you give suggestions on how to solve those three issues, okay? So you're gonna talk about with Ivan, okay, how can we solve these problems? And talk about using could and might give suggestions. We could do this, we could do that, et cetera, et cetera. We might do this, we might do that. Or what is that? we might want to, we might like to, blah, 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 okay? And then you're gonna present the conversation in front of the class. Oh, okay. All right, any questions? No. No, Not teacher. Okay. All right, go for it, guys. Well. Vamos a, we're going to choose three. I don't know if you want to select one. You select three. What do you choose about these these issues? For example, the the food takes too long to be served after ordering it. Okay, the food takes too long. Take too long. Take too long. Uh, what what kind of ideas do you have to solve these issues using cool or might? Uh, repeat, please. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, for example, I think that is if I if I friend menu to the customer. I guess with that way, a uh, teacher. 
Sorry, what is the question? Uh, I, I, I think that we, we have the first sentence, but I, I would like to, to see the, what is your opinion. Okay. Uh, we could have several menus, depending on food existence, give different menus to the customer. That is going to help, for example, when, they, when you go to the, at the restaurant, commonly you ask for something and they don't, they don't have that, that dish. And one way that you can resolve this is have different, different menus that you are going to cover what kind of food you can give at the customer. Okay, sure. Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Thank you, uh, the only one that I, I ever saw was, um, let me see, was um, uh, give customer service training. That is. Okay, uh, select the order. Um, the waiter is not polite. The waiter is not polite. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, they uh, we put uh, we put uh, almost say saying thank you are more more motivate motivate uh, motivate the why does we we recompense them? Benefits. Oh, benefits. Benefit. Uh, oh, benefits. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, fight. Okay. <laughs> for, fight for no, for life. It's not for life. <laughs> The employees could be could be training. Could take this could be training in customer service. Training or trained? Okay. Trained. Trained, okay. Next, we get to train in customer service. Customer service. I don't know if do you have another idea. Uh, uh, institute or solution. Solution, solution, solution about this issue. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, the wire is not polite. Uh, uh, I think the, the, the uh, uh, I don't know. Se me escapan las ideas. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I might, might want to have uh, some benefits, some benefit for them. Uh -huh. the, uh, the, the previous. Yes. <laughs> Next issue, um, the dish you want to order is not available, but it appears listed in the menu. Uh, um, uh, I think 
si, si, I don't know, the wireless or, or chats uh, uh, may, may, might, uh, might press, might. Uh, we are, okay. The first one, the way it is not polite, so we we need add um, survey in the ticket, and we offer 15% off to the next uh, visit to the customers, so they can uh, motivate to fill the, to give us the feedback on the on the survey, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the, 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 the waiter or waiters. Waiters. Uh, So basically, we we need to read the, the, the feedback for the customer. The survey is says if the if the where it was polite, if the where it offered um dessert, maybe, or if the 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 restaurant, the table was is clean or something maybe that we can help not just for the waiter um, we that can help us to refresh our menu that that can happen it sounds good yeah yeah okay so um, the, number, the number two is that the food takes too long to be served at after ordering it mm -hmm. so we can we can solve that the issue Put a chrono put a, a chronometer. That's it. Come say chronometer. Chronometer on the table. And after 15 minutes, if you don't receive your food, we can offer to a little discount. I like that restaurant. <laughs> uh, definitely I served your food in 14 minutes. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Sure no, because I don't want to give you the discount. I know, I know you don't. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, don't forget, this is a conversation, okay? So don't don't forget that to make it a conversation, okay? Yeah, sure. Thank you. See you guys in a minute, in, in a few minutes. In 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The owner and the manager, I think, this car. Uh, we could we could improve the time the time of table service, increasing the number of staff to avoid customer disagreement. Uh, guys, are you almost ready? Yes, almost ready. Just almost ready. we are going to discuss the last one. Okay. Okay, no problem. Uh, just wanted to remind you guys that this is a conversation, right? Okay, make it in the form of a conversation so that you both can participate. Okay? Okay. All right, so I'll see you guys in a, in a few minutes. Teacher, when you say a conversation, I guess that we are going to create a dialogue between, uh, between Josue and me. Right, because like I told you, you are the new managers. So you are deciding, you, you and Josue are deciding what you're gonna to do to make this this restaurant successful? Okay. 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 All right. So see you guys in a few minutes. Okay. Thank you. Well, that is going to be more complete. How are you guys doing? Hi. Uh, are we? Thinking uh, about the, uh, the the procedures that help us to us to avoid this these issues right. that customers. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And don't forget also that um, that you have it's a conversation, so both of you need to to participate. Right, so you and Warner are going to be talking about what can you do to make this restaurant successful? Yes, uh, 
Yes, I I I have to. I I I was telling to to Werner. Could you please please make sure that the dishes are the same that appears in the menu and looks like the waiter served to, in the table to the customer? Yeah, perfect. That that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right, so I'll see you guys in a few. And yes. we'll see each other in a, mo in a few minutes, okay? Thanks, teacher. Because, yes. uh, teacher. Hi. Yes. Okay, teacher, uh, I have one question. We have to create one conversation or we only have to create one suggestion uh, like sentence? No, one conversation where you discuss the three problems. Okay, one conversation to discuss three uh, claims. Okay, okay. We make a sentence. <laughs> but we have to correct right now. Okay. I'll see you in a, few, in a few minutes. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, so Wendy, we have to carry the, the conversation now. Yeah, okay. That's going to be... Okay. Hi, Andres. Hi, teacher. Hi, Tom. <laughs> I think that he had problems with the connection. Oh, who is your partner? Luis. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. He's been having problems. But at, at the beginning of the, of the breakout room, he, he had... Yes. Maybe he was only... One minute. Oh, uh, I, I didn't work. You should have told me. I would have. I, I I would have put you in another group. I think that you can see that in the system or something like that. Yeah, I, I can. But the thing is that there are many groups, and since I'm going to group number one, group two, group three, mm -hmm. and you are group number number seven. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't see immediately until right now that I've gotten to your group that I can see that you're you were alone. <clears throat> when you can do anytime that that happens, Andres, you can touch the button where it says ask for help. Okay. So then um, find out and I can come over and help you. <clears throat> okay. Ask, ask for help, maybe. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we can see what, what we can do, how I can move you over. Sometimes also, um, like some groups will be a group of three people and you are alone. So I will take somebody from that group and I'll bring them over here. So, okay, uh, teacher. Yeah, okay, that's okay. The uh, next time I will do that. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. that sounds good. I'll see you in, in the main session in a moment, okay? Okay, thanks, teacher. Pay. I think we we, we could. could we could pay they? for pay for a training for all employees. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um. So I will see you guys in the breakout room in a moment. Sorry, in the main session in a moment. Okay. 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 Continue. Okay. Uh, repeat. No, qué poquito tiempo se nos fue. <laughs> no.
No lo sentimos nosotros. <laughs> well, believe no, there are a few times. Ah, ajá, uh -huh, few times. Another half, half hour. We didn't share the conversation. <laughs> ya casi las diez. Ah, oh, perdón. <laughs> Ay, <laughs> que pide break. <laughs> I was checking the grandma. <laughs> I, 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 I think um, I think Edgar wants me to. No, no. Edgar is is the same on the yo. Yes, Edgar, are, are, but no, you are you're finished, right? With your your work, right, Edgar? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, guys, um, yeah, I know that it seems like very little time, but you've I've actually given you almost nineteen minutes. Mm. yeah wow. i programmed it for 15 minutes and then i still gave you about three or four minutes more okay but don't worry teacher it can be 25 30. <laughs> okay um do you need more time only five minutes yes so I guess. okay all right so what I'm gonna do guys, uh, okay, I'll give you five minutes to go back and work, uh, and um, you know, just remember these, this is a conversation. So it's not just, I'm going to give you suggestions and boom, 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 that's it. And okay, next, right? No, it's a conversation. So I want both of you to practice. I want I want to hear both of you speaking. So it's not like yesterday where we just had one secretary give information about everything you discussed. This is both of you talking. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to send you back to your breakout rooms. Okay. Thank so you. let's open them up. Hi, Andres. Um, Hi, teacher. Did it send you to another group? Because I don't want you to be alone for five minutes. So I'm going to send you to another group. OK, teacher. Can, can you see my invitation? Mm, not yet. You don't see my invitation? No, teacher. Oh, you know what? OK, hold on. Okay. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Mm Let's practice, let's practice. Okay. Hey, Natalia, did you realize the waiter bring the, uh, I, did you realize the waiter bring the food the customer didn't ask for? You could train your waiters to take a, the correct way to take an order. Yes, Ana Claudia, you're right, but you, do you realize that the food takes too long to be served? After yes, the, you're right. Client, the customer ordering. And I think you could, we, sorry, we, we uh -huh. could write. We could write a, a plan. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, Ana Claudia, could you repeat the, 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 the first sentence? The first? I, I just have the ideas. Hey, Natalia, did you realize the waiter brings the incorrect food uh, to the customer? So I have bring, just... So brings, that we're talking about that it's a constant habit or... Uh, or would serve. You have, we need to say serve. No, no, no. It's okay. You can use the verb bring, uh -huh. but 
are we talking about something that is habitual or is it something that happened one time? No, we are assuming that as the new managers we are, we are looking at the activities uh, in the we restaurant. See it. Uh -huh. and, and we see uh, and, and we get the issues, but uh -huh. we we're just before. observing the issues. That is, we are assuming. Okay, right now. good. But but are we talking about that they did it one time? Yes, one time. Okay, mm -hmm. so that, that means that you're going to be using the simple past. What's the simple uh, uh, Growth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, or, or take? No. No. Take, no. Growth. No. no, she's talking about the. Form, the usage of the verb oh, that the I say in present. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. Fine. Hey, Natalia, did you realize the waiter? But if is, I'm using ah, uh, realize, did fix the realize. Okay. Hey, Natalia, I understand now. Hey, Natalia, did you realize the waiter broke the incorrect food the customer didn't ask for? We could train. Practice, practice, practice again. Hello, Juan Francisco. How are you today? Hi, Irene. I am so so. Uh, yesterday I had a problem in the restaurant uh, because the food takes too long to be served. Sorry, sorry to hear that. You could hire more employees for so this problem in a restaurant maybe yesterday i had problem too because the waiter wasn't polite with some clients oh really um maybe to call training in customer service for solving this situation Yes, yes, that's right. It's an excellent idea. I have another problem too, because some dishes in a menu are not available for the client, and I don't know what to do about that. Discount. is passed to. Sorry? Discount. 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 This count. Yes. Okay, this count. A discount uh, if the food take uh, more than 30 minutes to serve. Okay. That sounds um, good for me. Um, and we could, uh, what's that about? We could use the uh, uh, a chronometer on the table. Mm -hmm. And we can offer a discount after if we don't give your food on 15 minutes, I can offer a discount. But you have my my promise that food is on the table on solo dos pongan. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, lo Yes, teacher. Vos lo anotaste, por si quiere pedir el, 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 el secretario, yo no lo anoté, no me acuerdo ya, sorry. <laughs> Remember, Jose, try always to continue speaking English, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, okay, the, the, the third one. It is, repeat, uh, the, re, repeat, Jose, uh, repeat the... the Yeah. Okay, guys, so I gave you actually a little bit more than five minutes. So I think you guys should be well prepared now. So we're going to start <clears throat> with group number one. Uh, we're, we're just going to listen to the conversation, okay? And our group number one is going to be Ana Claudia 
Erevin and Natalia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Hey, Natalia, did you realize the waiter broke the food the customer didn't ask for? I think we could train the waiters to have the, to get the, cor the correct orders. Yes, Ana Claudia, you're right. And I saw another common use issue that is that the food takes too long to be served after the customer ordering. And I think we could write a plan and training some waiters to serve the food faster. You're right. Yeah. Erwin, I don't know if you, you saw another issue. Erwin. Tom, Tom. Sorry. Are you there? Might, yes, yes. We might to learn to teach at the staff. What is the issue that you saw? We might. Uh, no, no, the issue. The issue with the waiter, did you find an issue with the waiter? Yeah. Ah, what? okay. I guess they are not polite, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. That's all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, bravo. Very good. Oh, my God. Okay, excellent. Very, very good. Okay. Okay, excellent. I know it is, it's a challenge sometimes um, to have like, um, you know, three people in a group. So yes, I, I understand. Um, but thank you guys for, for do, making the best out of it. Very okay. good. Okay, and then we have um, Irene and Juan Francisco. Okay. Hello, Juan Francisco. How are you today? Hi, Irene. Uh, I am so so. Um, yesterday I had restaurant because the food takes too long to be served. So to hear that, you could hire more employees for solve this problem in your restaurant. Yesterday, I have a problem too because the waiter wasn't polite with some clients. Oh, really? Uh, you call training in customer service your employees for solving this situation? Thank you so much. It's an excellent idea. I have, you know, I have another problem too because some dishes in a menu are not available for client and I don't know what to do about it. Oh, uh, you call the price the menu in only, I don't know. <laughs> you have a reason. Thank you so much for your suggestion. I appreciate it. You're See you. <laughs> You're welcome. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Oh, good. Okay, very good. Let me give you one of these. Very good. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, very good suggestions. Um, just uh, remember when you want to say, tú tienes la razón, we say in English. Agree. No. Tú You're tienes right. right. You're right. You are You're right. right. Uh -huh. You are right. Or you're right. Mm hmm very good. Excellent. Okay, the next group is Javit and Edgar Enriquez. Okay, good evening. Hello. Oh, hi, Mrs. Javit. How are you today? Fine, thanks, Alfredo. Um, I need to expose some issues about the restaurant. We need to yeah. talk um, and fix it. I received a report about some complaints on social media. Uh, are you um, sure? Yeah. 
Okay. And you you could investigate more um, about that situation. Okay, okay. Let's um, find out what you hear me, on the social media. Let me a moment, please. Okay, uh, the first issues was the waiters and the waitress. Um, they are no, I'm not polite for the customers. Oh, that's really, that's, okay, that's, that's, uh, that's uh, new for me, but uh, actually, um, I think it's something I know if you, we can use to, to make improve that, that, that issue really. Uh, what do you think we could use a little survey and we can add a survey in the ticket and offer to the customer a discount for the next visit. And, and that way we can improve on, the, on that point. And we can ask the customer what thing about the waiter or what's going on about the food. If they are, have something, some complaint about the food, but uh, Miss Habit, let me, let me share something too. Uh, apparently, the customers say something about that food take so long to be served, and I don't know if you have an idea to to improve that point. Yes, I think I, I read in the in the report, uh, but I talked to you because I need some ideas about that. I think okay. if if a uh, you could talk with the staff and promise to the costume um, some time um, for receive the food. Okay. But Ms. I Ms. don't Ms. know, what do you propose? Yes, we have it. What, what do you think? We could use a chronometer and put on the chronometer on the table. And if the customer receives the food after 15 minutes, we can discount or we can offer a dessert or we can offer an extra drink i don't know i don't know when it took but you have my promise if he, the customer uh we can offer uh, two uh, bonus to the to the staff if the if the food go in the or if the customer receives the food in the next 10 minutes we can offer a, a bonus maybe what do you think Okay, I agree. And um, and two, I could you could give a reward for the staff okay. uh, if they uh, make uh, the goal of ah llegan a la meta. The goal, uh huh. Um, and the other issues, let me um. Miss Abby, what do you think about? Uh, we can offer to uh, apparently the dish. We, we, we I heard something about the dish. Uh, if you want, if uh, the customer asks about some plates and don't appear in the menu, uh, mm -hmm. we can offer it to the customer uh, a virtual menu, maybe. Yeah. What do you think? Yes, uh, is another propose for you. I, I agree, and I don't know if you you call you might like. Oh, it's for the kids. <laughs> Words. You call um bring some we'll offer, ideas we'll about offer, that. We, we could offer okay. to the customer um a, a print menu or a virtual menu. Uh, I I guarantee in the and the virtual menu we can refresh all the all the dish at least once times a week are you excellent in? excellent great thank okay, you have a nice day yeah, all right <laughs> yeah, good job guys <clears throat> yes excellent job um you guys uh had very good ideas you talked very thoroughly about the problems uh very good very, very good. I, I'm very pleased with that. Now, um, just uh, 
How do you say chronometer? In English. Chronometer? Chronometer. Yeah, the stress is on the second syllable. Chronometer. 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 Yeah. yeah. And um, we would we say. Can say a countdown clock. Um, yeah, we could, but, um, or we usually actually we say chronometer or more, more likely than not, we say more specific. Yeah. A timer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Timer. So yeah, that's actually a little bit more common to use the word timer. Okay. So I'll write that down. <clears throat> A timer. Okay. You can use the word for chronometer, that's not a problem, but it's probably more common the word timer. Okay. All right. Um, and we reach a goal. We reach a goal. Okay. Reach, alcanzar. We reach achieve. Um, yeah, you achieve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends on the context, right? <clears throat> but yeah, you can reach a goal. And uh, when you are talking about these suggestions, you're going to be making proposals. Proposals. Okay. Propose. Yeah. All right. Good, good, good. Thank you, guys. That was wonderful. All right. Let's hear now Josue and Jury. Well, hi Yuri, how are you going? Hi Josue, uh, tell me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, that meeting is because I identify some problem on a, a reference and I need to talk more about it. Okay, tell me more about those issues that you identify. Well, for example, sometimes we don't have some dishes, but it's a pure listed in the menu. What should we do about it? We, we could have several menus depending of the depending on food existence we give different menus to the customer oh uh, yeah i think it could be a um, good idea but um, we need to improve uh, the time of the table services and what do you what do you think what what can we do with with that uh, we could improve the time table, time of table service, increasing the number of staff to avoid customer disagreement. What do you think about that solution? Um, yeah, this could be uh, uh, great because uh, if we have uh, uh, more people uh, working in, uh, Sometime we can uh, solve the, the problem in, in a best way. And um, another another thing that I I want to to talk with you is because I am seeing that there are waiters who are treating customer inappropriately or are not polite with the customer, and is I I think. Uh, we need to work uh, today for having um, a solution for that, that problem. Well, I think you might, you might want to give a customer services training that is going to help the, custom, the, the waiter to, to wait to, to act with the client when they they are in a stress day when we have a business day it is commonly that the the waiters are acting in that way 
maybe the training can help uh, add the staff. Excellent. I think that that could be a, a good idea, and we can work with them. And, uh, and I think uh, that's if we work with a team, uh, a restaurant will be uh, will have. Uh, in craze or I don't know, a restaurant could be uh, beneficial, benefited. We can increase the demand of what we have uh, in this moment. Yeah, and um, I appreciate the ideas that you have um, and that's it. Okay, thank you, Josue, bye. Uh, you're welcome. All right, guys, very good, <clears throat> excellent. Okay, you also discuss things in, in quite a lot of detail. That's very good. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> All right, guys, um, because of time, we're not gonna be able to hear the other groups today, but we're definitely gonna hear them tomorrow, okay? So um, group number five, Luis and Warner, group number six, Jose, um, Ayala and Wendy and group number eight, Edgar Menjivar and Jose Montes, we will hear you tomorrow, okay? Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, before you guys leave, uh, let me take our attendance. Okay, do I have Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Javid? Present. Uh, Andres? Present teacher. All right, Dennis. Orlando, no. Uh, Edgar eh, Menjivar. Uh, present teacher. Okay. Uh, Edith Jorleni. Urban. Present teacher. Uh, Fabiola. Heidi. Irene. Uh, Ivan. Present teacher. Oh, okay. All right. There's Ivan and there's Irene. Perfect. Thank you. Josue. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Uh, jury. Present teacher. Okay. Luis. Luis. I guess Luis had problems with the internet. Okay, Manuel, Alejandro, no, right? Natalia? Present teacher. Okay, Betty? Wendy? Sorry, teacher, present. Wonderful. Um, Werner? Teacher. Okay. Uh, Yvonne? Yvonne? No? Okay, Edgar? Edgar Enriquez? I'm here. Okay, I'm um, Eli? Jose Montes? Present. And Jose Ayala? Present teacher. All right, perfect. Um, class, uh, today I don't, um, the person that was assigned for the 101 class the 101 session is not here. So if anybody wants to ask any questions, um, I, can, I can take them today for the 101 session. Anybody want to take advantage of that today? Oh, sure. For me, no. Oh, thank you. Thanks for me, Matt. Thank you for your time. OK. All right, guys, in that case, that will be all for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow and um, have a good night. The same to okay. you. you Thank too. you, teacher. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you guys. Bye -bye. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.
Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Warner, for connecting. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah. I know yeah. all of the your effort that you make into it. That tell that yeah. tells a lot about you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, uh, one question, teacher. Is the problem me is the embarkation the 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 Agos. I I work and and in, in, in my works this is uh, go to uh, Guatemala for the four uh, and eight the cuatro al ocho the four and eight uh, uh, the August I got work in Guatemala. Oh, okay. uh, the problems I, I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't know the problems for connecting. This is my my your doubt. Um, yes. Okay. No worries, uh, Werner. Because that week we're gonna be off. We do not have classes that week. Ah, oh, very good. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. I, I don't know. See, on vacation is a, is a class. Is, no, no. Um, no. Uh, no vacation, like with um. Uh, with all of the like um, Semana Santa and the August vacation, we do not have classes. Okay. Okay. So Thank don't you. worry about it. Go to Guatemala, have a good time, and we'll see you back when you get when you okay. go when you come when you come back. Okay. I know vacation. I is. I know. I know. But <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. See you, teacher, tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.